Decades of intimate stories and details about where we live truly made San Diego a home for those who like to know things like this. Every community, the developer tries to sell it in some way, you know, some unique thing that sets it apart. But the sidewalk? Who'd think of that as anything special? It's just a slab of kind of bland concrete. In fact, the official city color for sidewalks in San Diego is Portland Gray. Well, 90 years ago, one neighborhood said, nope, we're going to try something different. Pink sidewalks. Well, sort of pink anyway. It's my pleasure to welcome my colleague and dear friend about San Diego's Ken Kramer. Good to see you, Ken. Oh, Peggy, this is wonderful. It's Thank a you pleasure very to much. talk to you. Yeah, yeah. Now, congratulations. You've been doing this for a really, really, really long time. Really, really, really long time. <laughs> <laughs> when did you start doing about San Diego and how did this idea come about? Uh, it was back in the last century. It was back <laughs> no, in, it was. Well, it I was, guess it was. It was in 1972. And I grew up in LA watching a station you may be familiar with, which is now KCBS, but used to be KNXT. And there was a guy on there named Ralph Story, and he did these wonderful stories about Los Angeles. And I just gravitated toward that style, and he and I became friends, and I've sort of, he's a bit of my mentor. And it, so you sort of brought that here to San Diego, and we're so glad you did. Now, I happen to know that as a kid, you built a radio station in your bedroom. What was it about broadcast, be it radio or TV, that you fell in love with as a kid? Just the romance of it, the idea that you could sit there and tune the radio at night, and stations would come in from faraway places. It's all very homogenized now, but you could hear different voices, and you could hear people talking about Bob's Barber Shop and these different places. I just fell in love not only with the idea of the programming, but the idea that electrons could go from that tower with the blinking light in the little town all the way across the country to my little radio. So I fell in love with the technical side and the programming side, the storytelling. Now you started here as a student uh, at KVBS and, and then you reported for DC, uh, NPR, many TV stations including NBC San Diego right. where I got to meet you uh, and you did about San Diego there. So I have to ask you this, your favorite about San Diego episode. I think it's the one where we found this place in Kensington where a man bought the house and learned that as he was buying the house that the previous owner had this obsession with digging. And so he, the previous owner, started digging a barbecue pit one day and just got carried away. And underneath this house are like 700 feet of rooms and seven, 700 feet of tunnels sure. and seven big rooms. Uh, it's right. just the most amazing thing ever. That was fun. And they're, they're going to have to watch that. So Ken yeah. Kramer's About San Diego yeah. uh, it will return to KPBS TV in late of May. And Ken, congratulations. Thanks very much. I'm really enjoying Ken Kramer Day.